Hello, so we are back. But this time, let's see the most common mistake when you diagnose a charging issue. So this laptop was booked in, it's a customer job, for the boot USB-C ports replacement, okay? This is a HP Elite Dragonfly. Those are very expensive laptops. So let's see exactly what he's doing. This is the original charger, original customer charger, yeah? Let's have a look. So you see the USB power meter is starting. We have the charging light there, but look, check on the screen. You see? Okay, this is one port, yeah? Now let's see the other port. Okay, if I hold it, you can see it's charging. Yeah, it's, we have the orange light there. But if I move it, this is turning off, the charging is turning off. So what's the problem with this one? Huh? What is the problem? Because this was booked in for the ports, and you will swear, sorry, this is a, a, a USB port which is not soldered proper on the board. These are faulty 100% and has to be replaced, right? Well, the answer is no. Okay, let's try with a different charger. Let's try with a different charger. Let's try with my one. You see, that's, that's how I'm trying to explain you, yeah? So however I move this, it's charging, it's no issue. Let's try the second one. That's why I always use my chargers when I diagnose a laptop. You can see it's charging fine, it's no issue. So what's the problem then? Now, having my this is the original HP charger, you can see. But still, the charger has an issue. And I can assure you, are not the pins from inside. It's not even charging. Yeah. You see, now it's charging, but as soon as I move it, no, the pins are fine. We can have a look under the microscope. Okay, so you can see the pins. I mean, you see anything wrong with the pins? Because I can't, I can't see anything wrong here. Yeah, so check there, all pins are present, are there, it's clean, it's nothing dirty here. I can't see anything wrong. So the only problem what can be here is actually the wire. No, it's not the wire. You see, the wire is pretty solid, yeah? Probably where the solders from the wire are made with the port itself, because you can see it's pretty solid, yeah? So what I'm thinking is, I mean, I already spoke with the customer. I said, look, I know I booked in the, pri the job for USB-C ports because that's what you told me. You agree with the price I gave you, but the problem is the laptop is perfect, has no issues. The issue is the charger, is the customer charger. Now, I didn't spoke about charging, re charger repair, but let's try and repair it. Maybe we can save the customer money, yeah? Let's try. I believe this is coming from uh, a computer shop, this job. But let's try and cut this and try to fix it. First, let's try to find the issue, yeah? Keep in mind, this is the original charger, it's not some uh, copy. Charger. 
and it's one piece there. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we don't have access to the pins. But let's try to do it somehow. So we took out the shield, that means we can still reuse it. Uh, look what we have here. You know what, I take my words back with a solder being there. No, I believe it's still the cable. You can clearly see here it's bending like weird. Well, let's try to open this still, yeah? Let's see how we can open this. Ah, uh, this is soldered. You know what? And this is 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 not easy because it has clips and also has solder here. Maybe we can cut the solder with the... Yeah, we can. Yeah. We can. Or we cannot. And here I can see they use some glue. This is hot glue here. Yeah, I believe it's hot glue. But when I'm using the hot glue, oh, sorry, you're dodgy. But when the manufacturer is using the hot glue, oh, that's fine, that's professional. Yeah, that's hot glue. So how we can open this? I mean, clearly this probably soldered all the way down. We can try to heat up this. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, and now you can see, check there, we can open this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. That's perfect. Wait, here has a metal thingy. Which probably is from the top part or the bottom one. I don't know from which one it is. And that's how the port looks inside. And everything is covered in, uh, in hot glue. Wow, this is more dodgy than me. <laughs> How can I do it? Because if we're trying to melt in the hot glue, I mean, we can try. But the things can go a little bit wrong. I mean, we can we can damage the isolation of the wire we heat. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what is this here. I believe it's plastic and, and hot glue here. Okay, let's come with the heat with the hot air. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not only the hot glue, it's some plastic thingy there. Mm -hmm. Trying to bring it on focus. Let's get rid of the reflections. Yeah. More hit. So I don't know, maybe maybe it's a glue which is melting to very high temperature. Can be. Hmm. Okay, let's take this out. Good. And here we have some clips. Yeah, that's plastic. Okay. So actually, what do we have on the charger? We have three wires. You can see. That's all what we have. Okay. You know what? Let's bring the solar iron. So we have a white wire, a blue wire, and here we have a black wire, right? That's all what we have. Yeah, so the wires are soldered. So we have the black wire, we have the white wire, and the blue one. Now let's remove the wires, if we can. Okay, so that's the blue. The struggle is real. Okay, that's the black. And we have the white wire. Yeah, all done. So we get rid of the wires. Now let's see which one is faulty, yeah? How we can see which wire is faulty. Let's pull the wires out. This is white and it's solid. 
This is black and it's solid. And this is blue and the blue is broken. You can see. So we just found this charger issue. You see the blue wire was broken around here exactly where the cable is wiggling. Obviously the right way to do it is to short all wires from here. I mean even the other two wires if are good you know it's still a high chance they can get broken. So we cut the wires You see, that's a genuine cable. Look, you have some uh, rubber thingy over. I mean, you can see it's a proper quality cable. But of course, if you try to build a cable which is not flexible enough, it will get broken like this. Like, you remember even the Apple cable? So the more flexible is a cable, you know, the lower chance to get broken like this one. The thing is, I don't want longer, uh, longer wires. Yeah, but this this yeah this is a quality cable. Okay, you know what, I believe here we need some barber machine to cut, <laughs> to cut the, the hair, look, it's like my cat hair. Okay, so we have three wires. Let's uh, make a knife job here. I can see by rubber, the rubber is so, so uh, soft. This is a sign of quality. And the wires are so thick, I mean, are made to carry current. And the black wire. Yeah, everything looks fine. Now let's solder each wire. But look, they are flexible. You can see, look. It looks like a hard wire, but it's not. <clears throat> okay, let's bring... Let's bring the flux. The solder wire. First, flux. Flux is good. Flux is always good. 
Good. Good. Good. Now solder wire. Perfect. Yeah. I believe uh, black and white they are carry the current and the blue is the data the data pin. Perfect, yeah. So we have black, we have white and blue, white, black. Now let's see our connector. We still have a bunch of plastic here. Good. Good. I believe it's perfect. Right? So the wires has to lay down there. And this is the data, yeah? This is the blue wire from the middle. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. Hmm? It is on focus, right? Let's try to add some solder. Solder, solder, and solder. That's fine. So we have a black wire. Yeah. Perfect. We have the white wire here. Yeah, perfect. And we have the blue wire. Do you think it's any point on testing this? Hmm? We can test it. We can test it. I mean, the fault was clear. Oh, sorry, it's not plugged in. Sorry. I forgot it's not plugged in. Yeah, and it's working. And now I can move it around and it's still working. Yeah, you can see. Perfect. Now the next one, let's add the metal bits. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. When is the whole glue moment? But let me try first to figure it out. How we can put this back together. So we have this bit. Okay, we have this bit. So this one has to be with the metal. Uh, like that, okay. 
and here we can grab the 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 shield yeah and I can make this back like that to keep the wires to hold the wires on place good and now is the hot glue moment yeah before we are putting this back now is the hot glue moment lol i think i run out the hot glue run out oh yeah no, no no i found it i found it don't worry i found it i found it Okay, that's fine. Quickly. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. It's exactly like before. And one more thing. We have to put this thingy back which probably it will not sit on place I think this is plastic even if I use hot glue I'm not sure if this it will sit on place but we can try Let's see. Hmm? It worked or not? Yeah, it looks bad, I know, I know. It looks bad. But don't worry, I have the secret solution for this, yeah? And I'll show you. Give me one second. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah, my luck is Diana. I mean, looks like original, looks like original, but like a dodgy original. So let's use a rubber finger to make it nice. This is better than original, yeah? Check here, proper rubber. You can feel it's rubbery in the uh, rubbery feeling. Proper nice. I mean, clearly we save some money uh, to the customer, right? We save him some money. Let's see if it's working. Working fine. 
proper solid. Yeah. So the issue was this wire which was broken. Yeah, you remember the blue wire. The blue wire, which is actually the data. I believe it's the, the data. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you fix a charger. And this is the most, you know, misinterpreted fault. I mean, it can easily fall down and believe actually the ports itself are faulty when actually you have a faulty cable. Yeah. So I'll stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Just, you know, just to give you an idea if uh, you get this uh, fault in the wrong way. Yeah. So I will say see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.